Today, beautiful people, I am surrounded by the zombie horde because I am showing you seven ways to steal diamonds from zombies. So please do me a favor, leave a like on this video so I can get rid of the zombie horde. Oh, wow. Did you just leave a like? Because all the zombies disappear. You guys are the best. The first way we are going to be stealing diamonds from zombies is by using this recipe for cursed rotten flesh. The ingredient on the left is cursed dust, and the only way to get that is from a witch. The way that you get the cursed dust from the witch is kind of savage. You actually need to set the witch on fire with flint and steel or a lava bucket. Then you finish it off regularly and look at what you get. Bum bum. Well, we got redstone, but also we got cursed dust. Now you just pop this bad boy over here into the crafting table with the rotten flesh and Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You got cursed rotten flesh. This is the tricky part. Do you see all these zombies we have behind us that are acting very suspicious? For some reason, they're not moving, and I don't know exactly why. Maybe they're all watching TikTok videos. I have no idea, but all we have to do is sneak up behind this zombie right here, drop the rotten flesh, and hopefully he eats it. And if he does, he will then start to infect all the other zombies nearby. Oh, he's taking the bait. He's eating the rotten flesh. Eat it. Oh, I hear him munching. Let's go. The curse is spreading, ladies and gentlemen. The curse is spreading faster than I could have ever imagined. Diamonds aren't just for noobs. Even zombies like them. So basically, I'm following them back to see exactly where they're going to lead me to their diamond nest, which I know is in the area of the vicinity. None of the zombies have any interest in me. Normally, zombies would want to eat your flesh, and these zombies have no desire. <laughs> Okay, real talk. I had no idea that zombies hoarded this many diamonds. I mean, I know zombies hoard things in Minecraft and stuff in general, but I did not realize they were going to hoard literally pyramids of diamond blocks and diamond ore. This is the biggest amount of diamonds I've ever gotten in a stealing diamonds episode. Viewers, I apologize. I seem to be having a bad hair day, but for the second way to steal diamonds from those zomba domba llamas, we've got the diamond magnet recipe as well as the diamond ore generator. Yes, it is a mouthful, but I promise when it's all put together, it's gonna make sense. Behold, beautiful people, the diamond aura generator. With this bad boy, we're gonna be infiltrating the zombie village and placing this down, and you'll see what happens next. This might be the most puny zombie village I have ever seen in my entire life. We have chugged the invisibility potion. Okay, now we have to do our best not to make any noises and not to be detected by any of these zombies. So far, the coast is clear. We have snuck past. This is exactly where we want to place down the diamond aura generator. Ladies and gentlemen, commencing operation in three, two, one. Place down the aura generator. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so basically what this is doing, the aura is extending to cover the entire village and then hopefully it should end up sucking up all the diamonds. Yes, just like this where we get to collect each and every single one of them. Dude, I still can't believe how many diamonds zombies are managing to be able to hoard. Like seriously, this is like a uh, kind of a mo- Wait, wait a second. Oh, my invisibility ran out. <laughs> wait a second. I thought I made a fat invisibility potion. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, we have made a big oof moment. I am way too greedy to leave without collecting as many diamonds as possible, but the zombies are about to get the best of us. We're getting out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, how do we get out? Okay, wait, can we climb this? Aha! I didn't get as many diamonds as we initially had hoped, but I feel like there's a little bit too many zombies right now, and I don't have any weapons on me, so we're gonna yeet the heck out of here. The third way we're gonna be stealing diamonds is by making a villager trade with the head villager of this village. I might be of help for a cost. We use this disguise... The skies to hide from them. Oh, it's literally? Oh, this is so sick. Zombie helmet disguise? Zombie chest plate? Oh my gosh, they got the whole thing, ladies and gentlemen. So with this, we should be able to blend in with the zombies and not be spotted. Even though, <laughs> look, look at my arms. Like, you still got those lava arms, but we all know zombies are not the most intelligent of creatures, so it should work. What is that? Are you okay? <laughs> those villagers spam open in the doors. I can't even spam open the door as fast as those villagers were doing. That was weird, but it's time to test the disguise and see if it works. So far, so good. We are blending in. I've named this zombie Johnny. This one is Marcella. I'm gonna name this one Johnny the second. As you can see, I'm not very good at coming up with names. When Brienne and I have our first kid, I'm probably not gonna be the one coming up with the baby names. I wanted to name our kid Glass, but apparently that's not a cool name. I thought it was kind of cool. Anyways, doesn't matter because the disguise seems to work. Like, look at how many zombies are gathered in this cave. I've never seen this many before in one place. Okay, so somewhere down here in this cave, I know the zombies are hiding another diamond vault. It's somewhere here in this cave. 
Oh, bingo! Let's go, baby! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck is this guy doing in here? I can see through your zombie disguise, Mr. Man. Yo, don't you dare be taking my precious zombie diamonds. Oh, he just popped out a bunch of... Can I just keep punching him? Look at him, he's taking, he took his disguise up. Where are you going? What is this man's up to? He took off the zombie disguise, and for some reason, the zombies still don't notice who he is. He's got a jetpack. Okay, that is... That's that's just... That's just not... That's not fair. That's... Why, why don't I have a jetpack? Oh, wait a second. What was that? Wait, we don't have a jetpack? Well, we're about to have a jetpack, ladies and gentlemen. Got the crafting recipe and all the items we need right here inside of our hands. We are about to go on an insanely dangerous mission. That is why we have made scissors. Um, you'll know the answer here in a second. But basically, there is this really big zombie over here. <laughs> like, that's a really big zombie, okay? I mean, that guy could probably eat a lot of chicken wings. Anyways, I don't know if you guys can see on his left-hand side pocket, the dude is holding a diamond pouch. And that is a big zombie, which means his pocket probably has a ton of diamonds inside of it. Beautiful people, in honor of Labor Day, we are doing free domestic shipping at Preston Styles using this code, but it's only Sunday or Monday, so don't miss out. Thank you so much, Preston now. Okay, you press the F key to turn it on and the F key to turn it off. Oh no, look at all the minions. Look at all the zombie minions trying to get me right now. They're all holding their diamonds. All right, I'm gonna try to use the scissors. This is like attack on Titan, man. Come on. Wait, what is this guy's name? Zombie with diamond. <laughs> when you hover above the zombie, it just says zombie with diamond in pocket. I'm trying to cut it. There we go. Got it. Got it. Look at all the diamonds. Oh my gosh. Look at all the diamonds coming out of this man's pockets. All right. We got to get the diamonds. Get the diamonds, but don't die to the zombies. <laughs> oh my gosh. These guys do a lot of damage. Look at this guy just raining diamonds from his pocket, dude. All right. Listen. I, I Stop it, dude. <laughs> Look at all these little miniature zombies. Come on, come on. Give me all these diamonds. And if you like diamonds as much as I do, go ahead and make that red subscribe button on the channel, Grace, so you never miss out on a brand new Preston Plays video. Do me a favor. In the comments, let me know what mob you want me to steal diamonds from next. I think so far we've done creepers, and then this is zombies. So if you want to see us steal diamonds from ghasts, slimes, witches, you name it, whatever the top rated comment is after a week, we will start developing that map because I think it'll be a ton of fun. So anyways, now we need to craft ourselves this bad boy and this bad mamba jamba's the diamond ray not to be confused with billy ray cyrus who is miley cyrus's dad two different rays okay you put this bad boy in like this oh my gosh used to tag zombies and cause diamonds to be stolen from their inventories i'm gonna be honest with you guys i've never used this thing before so i don't even know if it works but it does shoot very cool looking diamond lasers so i feel like that's gotta do something right step one is to shoot the zombies with the diamond ray and then using the remote control we are going to activate its abilities oh it's like look at this Oh my gosh! Oh, look at this! Oh, I must have activated the controller by accident because the diamonds are now swarming to me. I have stolen a lot of diamonds on this YouTube channel, as you guys and gals probably already know. But this has got to be the coolest way we've ever stolen diamonds on the channel. I mean, just look at this. I also don't think that the zombies can touch me from this distance. So if I just keep tagging zombies in the distance... Oh, look at that one. I just got... I sniped that guy back there. They call me Wesley Snipes. Look at this. No, no, no. The, the zombies have gotten intelligent. Hold on. Hold on. I can break that. Ha <laughs> ha. Now what do you gonna do zombie yeah what you guys gonna do now oh <laughs> big plebs ladies and gentlemen we were very patient i don't know how long that took that must have taken like three minutes but our entire inventory is finally full with diamonds and the zombies basically okay, get these glasses off of my face <laughs> the zombies can't even touch us beautiful people we've got a problem the zombies have now somehow managed to find my home territory and are trying to invade my personal space and that is why we have the in case of emergency challenge over here what this is basically gonna do this is gonna make us a magicite one and if you guys are new to the channel we have used this beautiful piece of purple orb stuff to make all kinds of crazy stuff on the channel the magicite staff will create fake blocks so if you right click these glass blocks you can then walk through them even though they look like regular glass blocks I mean look I can't walk through these but I can walk through these and look, if you use it on sand, it stacks inside of each other. Basically, this wand would be overpowered for hide and seek in real life. All right, so here's the goal, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to set all of this sandstone. Using the Magicite wand, we're going to make this giant sand pitfall trap. Uh, I really want to test if it works. I'm going to throw this recipe in. Oh, it works. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I have angered the zombies. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to lure them right over the trap like this. 
Yes, come on, zombies. Hey, a little bit close. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the greatest thing out. about zombies is they don't ever understand what is really happening in the world. So let me bring you down to our secret little basement area over here. I don't know if you noticed the staircase at the beginning of the video, but where it leads us to, once we finally get to the dadgum bottom, <laughs> I didn't realize how deep this place was. Are you kidding me? This thing never ends. The zombies have fallen to their death on top of these item hoppers and filled the chests with a plethora of diamonds. I mean, look at this. This actually may... Oh, look. <laughs> wait, there's the recipe we threw down earlier. I... Wait, how did the recipe not manage to fall into one of the hoppers? I feel like that is a very crazy strike of luck. Oh my goodness, I do be golly. Look at all these dim and diamonds. If you made it this far in the video, good job, soldier, because it's time for the final way to steal diamonds from zombies. And this is definitely the coolest way of the entire episode. So I'm pretty pumped for it. As you can tell, we have a lot of nonsense. Look at this. I got a transmitter, controller chip, a teleporting device. And that's because the goal is to swap houses with the zombies. Yeah, and if you didn't know, zombies actually do make homes in Minecraft. It's kind of wild. You know, the biggest downside about this is we're also going to be uh, basically giving our house right here to the zombies, which I spend a lot of time making, so... <laughs> Kind of sad about that, but I will do anything and everything to steal diamonds from zombies. I don't care what it takes. So we're placing down these house marker pads, which is going to signify the teleportation device to know which locations need to be swapped and what. Just got to make sure that you line them up all nice and pretty. Look at that. Look at that. You can see that one all the way there in the distance. I feel like there is no way the zombies manage to make a house that looks better than mine. I, even if you gave me creative mode, I don't even know if I can make a house that looks that good. Anyways, viewers... I thought a zombie was gonna come out of the house. The zombie went back into the house. Look at this, it's activating. Oh, oh. Have you ever seen something more beautiful than what just happened? No, the main, oh, look at this. The, zo <laughs> the zombie has, <laughs> okay, I feel kind of bad for the zombie. He just suffocated after we swapped the homes. I don't feel like he deserved that kind of death, to be honest. This is where the secret basement was and the last way to steal their diamonds. Bada bing, bada boom. We got the zombie's house on the home turf. Check this out, baby. I don't know if you're curious what's inside of a zombie's house. Apparently they've got blast furnaces, regular furnaces. For some reason they have zombie heads inside of their house, which I feel like would make me very uncomfortable as a human. If I had human heads inside of my house, that would be absolutely terrifying. This looks like their bunk room. Oh my gosh, yo, zombies really are a part of the military. This looks like bunk beds that my dad used to sleep in when he was in the Air Force. Okay, nice little decoration room up here but no diamonds inside of the chests. Hold on, hold on, wait a second. There's one more floor. Oh, let's go. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Look at all of these diamonds. <laughs> Beautiful people, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. Please leave a like and subscribe. Hope to see you all in my next video. Have a beautiful, safe day, and I will see you all next time.